Hey guys, SH here, and today I have a very exciting news to talk about, which is going to be about the visual recoil. Now, about 4 hours ago, as I'm recording right now, the DICE rolled out another major changes to the community test environment, which promised to improve the visual recoil drastically. Now, I'm crossing my fingers though, because I'm not exactly sure if they're simply going to copy and paste this visual recoil to the public, but as of a current state right now, it has been improved drastically. After I heard about that update, I went onto the community test environment server and I started playing around with the gun that is known to have one of the highest amount of visual recoils out there and I tested it out and my jaw simply dropped by how better it was compared to the previous version of the Battlefield 4. Now like I said though, I'm not exactly sure if they're still gonna implement this. This is a very very experimental update. They can remove it anytime, they can just tell us to scratch this off and try to find another way to improve the visual recoil but as of a current state right Right now they removed it completely well let me take that back they improved it completely the visual recoil is still there and there are also a lot of bugs in there especially if you use a red dot site or the coyote site the dot tends to get a lot bigger than the cobra site and the cobra site seems a little bit smaller than usual but i'm pretty sure that's gonna get fixed soon it's just a simple fix thing but other than that i'm really loving this update right now like this cubic big gameplay right here i was tearing these guys apart just by removing the visual recoil completely the gun has been changed drastically and then the next round of the operation locker i tried out the bulldog and as you can see i was tearing these guys apart and it is not just because of the visual recoil and it was also because of the suppression now i'm not gonna talk about the suppressions for too long because it is a very minor changes but i'm gonna put a link in the description below if you're gonna check it out about what they really changed from this update but for the suppression now whenever you get a suppression and if you're aiming down sights they remove the recoil penalty completely and they also improve the hit fire performance by 75 percent while aiming down sights which i also think that is amazing because that should increase the skill cap between the beginners and the expertise that are really good at aiming down sights between the medium to long range distance now if you guys look at the battlefield 3 and if you guys look at the suppression mechanics where it blurred all your screens and just started wiggling your sights i really didn't like that but now in the community test environment they removed it completely and now i think that this is a big step forward so anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I will be very glad to answer all those questions. If you guys have any guns for me to try out and see if it has been improved or not, just comment down below and I would love to try those setups out. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!